Governor Ritter also recently signed into law uh, consolidation legislation, uh, which really allows us to move in the direction. It has a uh, natural alignment uh, with uh, reducing the carbon footprint of our IT infrastructure and that we're going to, going to be reducing the number of data centers. Uh, we recently conducted a third party study and determined that the state of Colorado has 39 data centers in its government infrastructure and that's uh, probably about 36 too many. So as we move in the direction of uh, building out two or three resilient data centers, it's going to have a natural um, cause and effect to reduce the number of servers, reduce the amount of uh, cooling and heating that's required, reduce the, the amount of physical storage, and as we move in that direction, we'll be able to greatly reduce the power demands of our IT infrastructure in the state of Colorado. As we move forward to address the demands, the ever-growing demands for information technology, we really need to move in a direction of optimizing the power consumption of, of that technology.